You heard of Skinwalker Ranch? There are places around the world that are stranger. Michael Brown here. One of them was about an hour east of Phoenix called Stardust Ranch. Similar in a lot of ways, UFO reports, many of those endless uh, strange creatures, uh, whether or not they're kind of werewolfish or Bigfoot or whatever. And poltergeist, you know, strange noises, rappings, poundings. Before this one couple moved in, John and Joyce, John was a psychologist, retired. His wife worked for the FBI, still did. They moved in this this place. And, and, and when they went there, they opened a door and the previous owner's belongings were all still there. All the furniture was still there. They called up the realtor and said, hey, what's going on here? Their, their furniture is still in the house. It's got to be taken out of here. The realtor said, I'll take care of it. So he and his wife went away for, for the day. When they came back, the furniture was gone, but they found that it had been placed in the swimming pool, even a refrigerator. Everything was in a swimming pool. Call the realtor. Realtor said, gee, I didn't even get in touch with the owner yet. That was just the beginning of it. Guys who worked for the phone company wouldn't even come on to the ranch to do their work because I guess the place had a history. And right away, they start hearing noises at night, bangings, things would move, objects would disappear. They'd wake up with strange markings on them, bruises, uh, cuts, I think burns kind of getting nerve-wracking there. They'd have fights between them. Strange people would show up on the property and then kind of just vanish. UFOs all over, you know, the place, all these reports, lights in the sky, orbs. But the weirdest thing, one of the most bizarre stories I've ever heard, occurred one weekend night when they decided to drive into Phoenix to Tex-Mex restaurant for dinner. He's waiting for her. She comes out of the bedroom ready to go. She's dressed in nice red lipstick and, and bedecked in red. And they go out to the car and they're just making small talk on the way to the restaurant. Like I said, about an hour away. They get to the restaurant. They sit down, they're handed menus. They have chips and salsa. She has to use the ladies' room. While she's in the ladies' room, this guy, John, he notices that his phone is on silent. It's, the sound is off. So he turns it back on. Right away, it's ringing. It's his wife. She's frantic. She's crying. He can't figure out what's going on. She's back at the ranch, and she's calling him. He's in a restaurant there with the person he thought was his wife. But it wasn't. She came out. The person or thing that he had driven with sat down across from him. He, he looked into her eyes and they turned pitch black. Well, before they even made their order, he, he got up, he dashed out of there, started his car, rode out back to Stardust Ranch. Strange case. Who was that at the restaurant? What was that?